Today we're continuing our series on the book of James, putting faith into practice. This is the theme of the book as James is describing what a life of faith is going to look like. And as we're going through this series, we're not doing a detailed verse-by-verse -verse study or anything like that. We're simply going through and hitting some highlights to see what a life of faith is going to look like. In this seventh lesson, we're talking about submitting to God. James said that we have a choice to either follow God or we can follow the devil. God has extended his grace to us so that we might choose to follow him. But in order to do this, in order to follow him, we need to be willing to humble ourselves before him. Let's look at James chapter 4, verses 6 through 10. But he gives a greater grace. Therefore, it says, God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be miserable, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the presence of the Lord, and he will exalt you. Notice what James says here in these verses about submitting to God. First, he says we submit to God as a response to the grace that God has extended to us. James says that he gives a greater grace, meaning that what God is able to offer us is greater than anything we could ever hope to attain without him. And by calling this grace, James is reminding us that this reward that God offers is something that we do not deserve and we could not earn on our own. The second thing we see here is that James tells us that we are to resist the devil. The devil is trying to get us to sin and to turn away from God. Yet we are to resist him and we can resist him. Paul would talk about over in 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13 about the way of escape that God has promised whenever we are tempted. If we will stand firm, the devil will flee from us. And then finally, submitting to God, James explains, requires something of us. We are to submit to him by obeying his instructions. We are to cleanse our hands by putting away sin from our lives. We must purify our hearts by focusing on those things that are good and right. And at the heart of all of this is humbling ourselves before God, as James talks about here in these verses. So God has extended his grace to us. So let us then submit to him and resist the devil and humble ourselves before the Lord so that in the end, he will exalt us.